The moon is in jumpy Gemini today, which could put us on edge, but that might be exactly where we want to be. I'm Jeff Jower. And I'm Rick Levine for Planet Pulse on this Thursday, August 1st. And I think you're right, Jeff. Not only is the moon in jumpy Gemini, but there's a bit of jitteriness and kind of ill-adjusted energy today. It's awkward. It's an awkward it, it day. It is because of the awkward quincunx. That's an angle of 150 degrees. That's kind of like oil and water. The planets don't mesh, so they're kind of edgy and jump around. And we've got two of those going on today, Venus with Uranus and the Sun with Pluto. Well, Venus and Uranus are interesting in themselves because they don't mesh even when they mesh. They do in my chart. <laughs> well, yeah. Venus, Venus is the planet of love and attraction. It has affinity. Venus kind of likes things. Uranus, on the other hand, is more electric and, and, and if it has affinity, it has affinity for breaking things apart or breaking things up, releasing tension. And with that ill-adjusted energy between attraction and separation, it, it's almost like we, it's awkward in all kinds of social interactions. That, that puts relationships on edge. You're right, plans can shift at the last moment, but, but it's important that we don't get too resentful about it because the other quincunx is the egocentric sun with resentful Pluto. And we can take a small misunderstanding or a broken engagement and turn it into something perhaps bigger than it needs to be. And I think here the lesson of the day is pretty straightforward. The moon in Gemini allows us to connect the dots. It allows us to make connections. The quincunxes remind us that whatever the connections we make are just stops along the way. Don't necessarily think that what your judgment is or what your assumptions are will be the same tomorrow. I'm Rick Levine. And I'm Jeff Jower, inviting you to join Rick and me here every day for Planet Pulse.